Hello, my name is Matt Bazance, and I'm a bank regulatory partner at the law firm of Mayor Brown. I'm talking with you today about a proposal from the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. And you might ask, well, what, what is that and, and why should I care about it? And, and you should care about it because this is the proposal that over the next 10 years will guide how different jurisdictions around the world think about bank regulation. As we've seen in recent months, from the failures of some significant US banks and also for some uh, rapid consolidation in Europe, banking supervision is a continually changing topic with regulators routinely ratcheting up their expectations. These expectations on a global level are distilled into a set of principles um, of about 29 in length that go through the ways in which regulators regulate banks, the ways they expect them to behave, the ways that regulators examine or inspect those banks. And these principles are, are almost like best practices, but they go more beyond that when implemented for banks because they guide how a bank's conduct will be. Um, and these principles have been around since 1997. Uh, they've changed over the years, again, ratcheting up in their expectations for banks. Um, there is a continual movement upward in the, both the obligations and the expectations for banks. Um, and, and so the most recent proposal out of the Basel Committee would, again, ratchet up certain principles. So they would require banks to have policies that address the, address the nature of their corporate culture um, and the way in, in which they assess their culture. They also would be much more explicit with respect to risk management requirements, that at least in the US, this has been a perennial topic for the last several years. Of, of the importance of risk management. And as I think we've we've heard in recent months, almost to, to too great an extent, are, are banks being asked to put together risk assessments and, and it has sort of become a, an end unto itself instead of a means by which to ensure the safety and soundness of a bank. Uh, but this is something that the, the principles are backward looking and that they reflect current trends. And so the proposed principles from the Basel Committee would impose many uh, criteria on how a, a bank should establish its corporate culture, um, how they should ensure that bank boards are um, guiding that the creation of that culture through things like the compensation system, through things like um, independence requirements. Um, and also ways in which bank boards have the skills necessary to understand the risk management framework of an organization or um, set the risk appetite of the banking organization, understand the risk data being presented to the board. So all, all of these are changes in the proposed uh, principles that would heighten this area. Uh, the proposed principles also would address operational risk. Um, and operational resilience, that while we've historically talked about operational risk as a topic for banking organizations, um, we really haven't included operational resilience in that core framework of supervision, that most banks had a, a business continuity plan or, or a business continuity management plan uh, under their IT department, but the principles would elevate it to an operational resilience expectation uh, really under the core of both the bank's governance framework and under the supervisory expectations that the, the, the bank is examined for. Uh, there are many other uh, nuanced changes in the principles. I, I won't bore you with them in, in the context of this short talk. Um, and also, I think it's important to remember that the, the principles, while it's important to engage with them um, in the international community to ensure that an appropriate framework is set for the global supervision of banks, these won't come into U.S. law immediately. That they, they, in the U.S., we do things with the notice and comment rulemaking system. And, and so that means that only if and when the U.S. regulators either adopt changes to U.S. regulation um, issue formal supervisory guidance, only then will the, the Basel Committee's principles apply to U.S. banking organizations. Uh, and so while there are these important changes that banks should engage on and, and make sure that they are tailored correctly to avoid imposing overly burdensome criteria on banks that is just a, a formalistic check the box exercise, we don't want that. And that, that's why this engagement um, is going to be important. 
Uh, it, it isn't the sky is falling, that this will be many years in, in process as, as the principles are finalized and then integrated into the different jurisdictions like we've seen over the last 20 some years in the United States. I wanna thank you for joining me for this short talk. I'd encourage you to look at the other publications we have on the free writings uh, page, that it's a great resource for all things in uh, capital markets and corporate governance. And, and please stay tuned to the next episode.